sometimes. I wonder what it would have been like if I didn't get hurt. Just a little bit of soreness on the front. A little bit, yeah. yeah. That's fine. We'll go. It's been better. No yeah. zinging. No, I'll feel, I still feel a little bit when I push this way, but it's getting stronger. Yeah. Ultimately, I'm thankful for the injury. It's put a lot of things into perspective. <laughs> Something hurts, push through it. It's always been like that. That was something that I really had to understand was, you know, working more isn't always gonna benefit you. Sometimes taking a day off of rest is gonna make you more fresh and then you're able to compete more. It's a full extension. Nice. You can walk to go get water. That's nice, I couldn't for like three months, so. <laughs> When you don't do it for so long, or you take a couple months off, you kind of have to go back to the basics. You just kind of start off by getting your rhythm back, getting onto the court, and getting the muscle memory of what those shots felt like. Yeah. Being removed from the game has kind of helped reframe how I think. He's strong. He's strong. <laughs> Being a lot more positive and excited for the future, and I think that's ultimately helped me feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and you did it to me once, and like yanked yeah. me almost sucked. And Even now, in workouts, if I miss a couple shots, it's not the end of the world. I'm like happy that I'm able to be shooting. Oh, good. The process can either make or break you, and I think it's really figuring out not why it happened, but what you're gonna do to become better after it. Okay. Last thing, we'll get you going. It's really just being as positive as can be and really manifesting where I want to become. Just kind of the mindset of like, nothing's gonna take me down.